North shoreline. Looks kind of like a park over there. Oh, that's that's a walking trail. All right. One point three miles. East here, Buffalo. And it's thirty five. There's this bark being distributed around trees that smells like a combination of bark and manure. I, I, it seems like they're mixing manure in with these bark shavings to put around trees. They got a really bad poop smell to the to it. I think it's by design. Take the third left. The third left? Go over the train tracks. The train just passed. So traffic from right does not stop. Alright. <laughs> Ooh, and a train. Okay, that's a, a. Ooh, no, no, I gotta go straight. And a left somewhere. I guess I could park in any of one of the parking lots on the left or right. Yeah, it's for the train. Everybody stops here. Okay, left probably in the here. It says library, okay. Oh, enter only. Yeah, for some reason though. I'll buy that Lake Forest Library on the road. Once again the 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 car the car was shifting in the first gear kinda of hard at the start of this trip, but uh now it seems okay again. Are are people people are parking here? I'll do it. I'm a little surprised to see nobody here. I'll do it. Maybe the library is closed. Nobody's really here. Okay. Oh my god, Lake Forest, Illinois, Lake, Lake Forest, Illinois. Alright, I have decided against going to Chicago. That's it, I'm not going. It's too rainy, it's too hard. I'll just skip out. I did a lot of research trying to figure it out and I had a plan but the rain really makes it too difficult. It's just 50% rain all morning tomorrow. I'm not I'm not interested in waiting around any longer. Right at the stop sign. Then take the second I would have gone yesterday or today. Maybe even tomorrow, but it's just raining, raining, raining. And that's it. I'm I'm just gonna continue on. <laughs> Try to keep a oh, oh progress. Go 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 go. Okay. Right at the stop sign. Stop sign. Yes. Yep. Uh, I just want to continue on. I think this is a college town. There's a lot of young-looking ladies around here that look attractive. This whole region is. It's got like a lot of um, just uh, civility, success, 
to Sheridan Road. Clean. Just, there's a lot of positive things you could say about this city, this northern area of Chicago well, looks a lot better than the south. The south was scary. I was, I was uh, on my, the edge of my seat, but that's not such an issue to me now in the north. And then, uh, so I started feeling more comfortable about trying to find somewhere to launch from uh, to get to the Chicago Center trying to find see I could park over here tonight if I wanted to the train doesn't blare its horn so it's quiet it's quiet enough but I just and then there's a grocery store I just don't have the patience to wait any longer I'm feeling anxious I don't want to stick around in this busy busy area so much even though there's quite a few attractive ladies not like I'm gonna talk to him anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna move to a Walmart north of here. Just continue north uh, and try to stay close to the lake, Lake Michigan. It's, I made a visit to Lake Michigan earlier and it was busy there, that's the thing, it's like, just so much traffic not not here though this is this is a nice quiet road at least at this hour this section this I could deal with this get back to this get through that getting further away from Chicago I don't think Milwaukee's as crazy and I, and I probably easily could plot uh, center uh, a trip to the center of Milwaukee I think that's much much easier to do <laughs> Chicago is so hard within uh, about 12 miles from the north at least <laughs> it's like $20 for parking people are complaining about it on Google Maps it's probably a lot closer on the south side though you could they probably let you park for free on the south side really close to the city center and there's a lot of uh, historical landmarks in the on the south. They had the World's Fair in like the late 1800s, which is which would be kind of cool to visit. Like, I mean, all I could say is I got within 30 miles of it. It was right on the coast in the south. That south is just so dangerous. I don't hear any gunfire anywhere I've been in Chicago. And that includes going through the south even. I spent a couple of nights in the south. I did not hear any gunfire at least in the Walmarts and pretty much Walmarts I slept at. So it's it's not as it's not as bad for just random gunfire around the places that I went to. I didn't get too deep into the city center, too close to the city center though. So you know, there might be a, a bigger difference there. Like in Phoenix, getting closer to the city center, I was hearing more gunfire. So, but I mean, still, I mean, Natchitoches, Louisiana is a small town, remote from everything, and I heard gunfire almost every night. So I don't think it should matter so much how far away from Chicago you are. It's really about the makeup of the people. Yeah, this is a weird turn. Uh, I am not supposed to go straight. I'm supposed to kink to the right on this V intersection and then make a left. I, you know, that doesn't make any sense, Garmin. It doesn't make any sense. Um, Garmin usually doesn't always make sense. Okay, that there, there, there's not a one way, okay. It doesn't, oh, this is. Yeah, the person's still behind me, okay. Going through a train, no, this is not a train bridge. I got trees overhanging the road. Okay, there's a train bridge. <laughs> Could be a, just a trail too. But I think this is a drive to avoid the highway. So I'm taking a kind of a weird, okay, I got 1.6 miles down this road, all right. Just a straightaway, 35 pressure from behind a little bit. 
okay. Yeah, it feels good to, to be on a quieter road at least. Oh yeah, they caught up. I'm gonna need, look, I think I can make it all the way to Walmart without getting gas. I'm gonna do that. Just, just focus on Walmart, get gas tomorrow. Okay, I wanna go through this intersection and it's changing lights. But when pedestrians are present, no turn on red. Okay, all right, going. You know, there's a little fog from the hot day, the hot ground, and the recent rain, and now it's all fogging up, making a little difficulty. Something on roadway. No bicycling or walking on the roadway? Is that what I'm seeing? This is that dangerous of a road. I just saw no bicycling and no walking on the uh, sign on the ro on the on this road, 40 mile an hour road. People, people, uh, well, do people live on this road? Maybe not. Okay, so it's not really residential. Looks like just organizations. Yeah. I'm going too fast. For what? 40? Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, it's so difficult to see. Road fog from recent rain. Yeah. That's a dangerous road for pedestrians. Past the target, that was a little tempting. Okay, Nullwood, 1700. I'm uh, writing here, 385 at Shell. Wow, that's a big difference for 450. Uh, they got go, okay. Oh. And there's a mobile too. I think I could make Walmart though. It's not incredibly far. Four miles, five miles. Probably the last trench is right here. Uh, 35, okay. Just want to say, all the places I've been around in Chicago, I really don't have any complaints about the air quality. They kept the factories, the major smoke factories outside. The reason I'm saying this now is because I'm seeing a lot of industrial uh, activity, a lot of huge buildings. I don't see the smokestacks. A lot of huge buildings that people probably go to work at here. And I was thinking, wow, you know, there's been parts smaller for smaller cities where the pollution is just horrendous. And I just had to move out quickly. But, you know, as I moved around Chicago, it wasn't the pollution that was really giving me uh, any problems. It was uh, just the, the sheer volume of, of activity, people bar darting around back and forth. It could be also that there, there was a significant amount of uh, electric vehicles that kept the pollution down. Can't complain about that, but that's Chicago, you know, around the city. and. They're, uh, uh, you know, like I said, smaller towns, smaller towns can have worse pollution than, than Chicago, just, just by, based on the type of activity being conducted. And, um, so it's, it's really, it's really something to, uh, to pay attention to, to what, you know, if it's a 3M plant, my God, stay away from those 3M plants. Yeah. You won't see those in Chicago. <laughs> they kick those out. But uh, yeah, they'll have them in other towns. Towns that, I don't know, they just... <laughs> maybe the people develop some kind of Turn immunity. Then take the second but I don't, I don't wanna I don't want to suffer trying to develop a, an immunity to that air pollution. Bounce as quick as I, I realize. You know, and also maybe it's also me eating more meat. I have noticed that I can handle pollution better now that I'm eating more chicken and beef. I can only, you know, there's times, there's days 
where I don't hunger for chicken or beef sometimes. Like I hunger a little bit for some steak and eggs tomorrow, but there's there's times where I just don't hunger for it. So I eat based on the hunger. All right, Walmart's like straight ahead. So uh, it's, it's like... Turn left. Okay, okay, I think I see. I, I'm not sure exactly my my how I should conduct my turn here. Okay, I can get in the center. It, it's just not exactly easy to see. Okay, and then make that turn and then look around and see what and we can do. Straight, turn okay. long. I made it, wow. All right, is this the grocery side? Oh, definitely, okay. They got refrigeration on this side. That means grocery side. Oh, somebody, <laughs> somebody's pushing me from behind. So I wanna, I wanna jump. The stop sign. I wanna jump across to the other side. I see a semi truck's parked on this side. I see that there's security lights flashing in the parking lot. That's not a good sign. Uh-oh, oh, they have patrol in the, the parking lot as well. That's not a good sign either. That's not a good sign. Signal is, has been, um, you know, neutral with me, actually. I'm seeing, I'm seeing people I'm not too happy about. Oh, the car almost died. Walmart, on the right. I should roll down the rear windows a little bit. It hasn't rained in some time. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too happy about this area. I just want to play it. Just want to, want to be protective. We got some weird light show on the left. Okay, garden center looks kind of open. All right. <clears throat> Walk around, get familiar. Yeah, it's a weird light show they got. It's like glass floating all over the place against the wall. Okay. Yep, yep, just... Oh, isn't that... Isn't, is that a... That's a casino, that's right! Oh, I was thinking about that. Okay, casino. All right, on Google Maps, it shows that it's still being worked on. Like, it's just an open plot of land. So, this, um, in other places, casinos uh, cause Walmart to have to prevent overnight parking. Um, but this casino is too new, so maybe I won't have problems. Waukegan, Waukegan, Illinois, Waukegan. All right, I slipped here, no problem. So there's a casino across the streets. They had a big light show that they flash on the, that white roof of theirs. That slanted white roof. They do that to get attention. It's a casino. I've never seen a casino put on such a light show before. They, close, they stop it at some time. At the night, they seem to close. This is a weird, weird casino. Maybe Illinois is requiring different things from other places I've seen. They got a big fence around the parking lot. They have that light show. I mean, I've never seen that so much in Vegas. At least as big of a light show as they put on. But yeah, the uh, <laughs> security might be ramped up at the Walmart, but I didn't get harassed and I didn't really feel like my life is in danger, so just kind of a weird situation. We're going to a library. It's a little rainy, so I guess do the library first, and then I do have a park. City of Park City Mayor Steve Panel. It's kind of rare to see the mayor announced on the welcome sign. <laughs> kind of very rare, actually. Very rare. You can see, like, you know, their slogan. The slogan is put on maybe 40% of the, the welcome signs. 
the mayor's name is put on like 1% of the welcome signs because the mayor's name is going to change but the slogan not so much on Washington Street <laughs> I got a left somewhere. Ogles V. Okay, so probably, probably here. Yeah. Turn fenced at the traffic light. Uh, two lanes for taking a left. That's kind of weird. And they don't want, they don't want people doing a U-turn. Yeah, the idling of this car is. I mean, not not totally crazy, but I just don't like what I hear. All right, to point seven. Forty-five. Got somebody following me pretty close, but it is a two-lane. We got a right. <sighs> What's the name? Alley? Okay, I go down a little bit further. I don't need to rush this. It's like a right after the stoplights. All right. Oh, don't tell me that's the library right on the corner. Something park. Probably could take a right. Oh, but all right, I see. Sure, Gurney Police Facility. Oh, really? Turning into the police department. Then take the first right. Parking deliveries training bond release. Police vehicles only. Are you sure? Well, then I guess I go around. Yeah, the Garmin sent, telling me to go through the the police parking lots. So that was a mistake. We are storm ready. Bond release parking. So the library is straight ahead. Police vehicles only on this side too. I see kinder care. I see a big white building. I can't tell what it is. Police vehicles only again on the left. Gurney police facility. So Garmin wanted me to drive right through the police facility. WN PL library entrance and you can park in the front no through traffic okay oh this is a one way uh, I suppose I'll just take this, this end spot All right, I'm moving because um, the library is not open till one. And I'm moving fast because oh, there's a lot of exhaust flowing over the parking lots from heavy machinery. I'm gonna just 
go straight across and then left on left on this road just to be safe. Alright. And I plugged in the I plugged in the dashboard after I turned the car on, so now I'm getting punished for that. But the seatbelt uh, doesn't really affect it. It's, it's still a beeping problem. Plugging in the dashboard after I turn it on, that's, that's too bad. Yeah, I probably... Oh my god, I hope they got a bathroom at this park. I probably sat in the path of that exhaust for 20 minutes and I, I feel bad. Do I take... Okay, I'm not sure where to turn 100%. What was that? What's that construction going on that I don't quite see it yet? I heard a lot though. It only sounded like one one vehicle. But they were putting out a lot of exhaust to make me feel like bad. I, I feel like I got to recover from that by just resting. I don't want to um, overdo it. Alright, I, I, I'm going to take a left here at the end of this parking lot. McClure, you know, I forget. Uh, it's a road right next to the school and school so it's within the school zone high school so this park uh, looks like it might be within the high school zone I didn't quite expect that I'm not I'm not exactly dizzy from that exhaust but I just I feel like a gunkiness Flooded pavement ahead. Uh oh. Alright. Well, this is the parking lot. I believe, yeah, this is the parking lot for the, uh, the park or the trail. No parking, fire zone. Not far from the library. I might drive back. I'm not sure. Private property, okay. <laughs> I just need the I just need a a few minutes to recover from that that exhaust. I, it really I feel a, a little broken down from that. I don't I don't want to park in that spot again. Right, I am leaving the park. It's uh, 6.30, library stays open until 9. So I'm heading back, straight back to that library. Did a little repair on my bicycle rack, discovering that it's, it broke. Some woodpeckers made a noise on my car roof, and then I looked and saw that the strap was broke. So it's hard to say how when that broke exactly. But I mean, it sounded like it just it just broke when those woodpeckers were there. So I I sewed all I had to do is sew sew a strap together. Not too difficult when you got the skill. And then I cooked some steak. Didn't do too much. I I took a couple of naps. I think walked around. Nothing too exciting. That's fine. That's what I look for every day. I look for boredom. I had to get away from that pollution, and I'm very confident that I stopped working tonight. I mean, 6.30? They should have stopped working by 6.30 easily. <sighs> so, I, I think I can park it. Wow, this is full. I have heard on an announcer. I think I could park in the same spot again. Warren Township High School. A lot of cars. I think this sports game is happening. What is the speed? I don't even know. 30. Okay. Car's catching up to me kind of quick. I see it's 30 though. All right. I got a right and it's 
probably here at these lights. There's so many cars that look like cop cars around here. They're just around all over, actually. I get a little uh, <clears throat> paranoid. Oh! Let's see, lock, take, hide. Oh, it's near the high school, so they gotta warn you about theft. That's what kids do. I believe it. Oh, my spot is taken. All right. Sort of taken. Okay. Yeah, there's a fence here, but there's a, somebody broke a hole through this fence. That's concerning. <laughs> 